Hey, what's up guys? Josh here, and today I'm going to tell you three reasons to do a cruise ship gig as a musician. Three things that are actually cool about it. Um, it's a, kind of a mixed bag, and I'm also going to make a video called Three Reasons Not to Do a Cruise Ship Gig. So you'll just have to watch both of them and make up your own mind. But uh, thing number one that's cool about being a cruise ship musician is traveling. For me, when I first did cruise ships, I had just turned 21. This was back in 2010. And I hadn't really traveled much, uh, and I didn't have, you know, a ton of money to go roaming around the world exploring. So uh, working on a cruise ship was and is a cool way to see new places um, and actually get paid and get to play music while you're doing it. The downside with the traveling is you're everywhere. You're in all the places for very short amounts of time, so it's really more of like a if you like go to a restaurant and order a sampler plate, you still need to like go back to the restaurant and eat more of the stuff that you liked, but you at least kind of get a little sampling, like, ooh, I really like Barcelona, ooh, I really don't like this other place, whatever. Um, so traveling and making money at the same time is a really cool thing about this gig. A second cool thing is pretty obvious, but still I think it's one of the main reasons that people do these gigs, and certainly the main reason that I'm here right now is uh, that you get paid to play music, and you don't have to worry about paying for housing, which is covered, and you don't have to worry about paying for food, which is covered, except for obviously what you buy when you're out in port exploring the world. Um, you know, we live in a time in history where musicians aren't really very financially appreciated, except for if you're at kind of a top echelon of, uh, you know, networking and, and gigging and stuff. Uh, for, for, I think, the masses of musicians, we all kind of struggle to make ends meet, and we don't get paid as much as we deserve based on our talent and what we're giving to the world. So while you're not going to uh, be able to retire on the money you make on cruise ships, it's a way, especially when you're a young person, to kind of save some money, see the world, play music, and not have to worry about money for a while. So that that is a really cool thing about the way this works. It's just once you get a gig, you just know you're making money and you don't have to do a bunch of hustling to get gigs or find students or whatever and you don't have to worry about making ends meet. So, I mean, it's kind of a, a low-level cool thing, but it's it's important just based on the world we live in. Um, the third cool thing is that you have a lot of time to practice your instrument, whatever instrument you play. Um, not just by yourself, like in your cabin or wherever you have to practice, but you get to play gigs like every night. like. You know, you might be out three, four, five, six months and, you know, only have a handful of nights off. So for almost every night for a number of months, you're going to be doing some kind of gig. It might not be the coolest thing in the world, but you're still building skills uh, to make yourself a better musician and learn how to <clears throat> communicate musically with other musicians. You know, you meet new people every time you do a new ship. So that's cool, and uh, I really think that the main thing that most young musicians need to do in order to improve is not to spend more time in the woodshed or go to college for another year, but to just get out there and just play music and just do it and see what works and see what things you need to learn that maybe you didn't learn in college or whatever, because a lot of college curriculums are really kind of limited in scope, and you'll learn a lot about theory and technique and stuff, but you're not going to learn that much about actually being a good bass player, for example. So whatever instrument you play, um, you're going to become a much better musician if you take this as an opportunity to become a better musician. A lot of people do these gigs for years and years and years, and they never really improve. But um, you know that's not that's not because of the gig. That's just because that person doesn't isn't willing to do what it takes to improve as a musician. So there's a lot of opportunity for growth, even if you feel like you're kind of too cool for it, which I go in and out of. Um, and also you have a lot of time on your own to practice. And like I said, with the money thing, you're not hustling gigs and trying to find students and blah, blah, blah. So you just have all this free time where you don't have to worry about that. And you can just practice, just learn, just put on an album you like and just learn every bass line on that album or every whatever instrument you play, obviously. You can learn the bass lines even if you don't play bass. It makes you cool and bass players will think that you're cool, but, um... Anyway, just, you know, throw on an album and you've just got hours a day that you can just learn songs and work on techniques and write music. And I've just got this little uh, M Audio Fast Track Pro. I just plug my bass in here, plug this into the computer and just use GarageBand. And I can practice in my cabin. And it's really cool. 
So uh, that's just a short little video on three things that I think are really cool about this gig. Traveling, making some money, getting some practice in, and hopefully you use it as a launching off point to then go do something that's even more stupendous and amazing because uh, cruise ships are certainly not the height of human culture and civilization, but um, it is a good opportunity for us musicians. So uh, now that everything has become yellow from me moving around with the auto exposure on this camera, that's the end of the video. And be sure to check out three reasons not to do a cruise ship for the shocking dark side of cruise ship gigs. I'll talk to you guys soon.